Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, and today is a pretty special video because I want to give you a chance to take a look at this custom-built Aorus gaming PC that I've been using for a large portion of my Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. This one is not mine to keep, just to borrow for the week, but I do want to very kindly thank Aorus for sponsoring this video and of course loaning me this beast so that I could experience Cyberpunk 2077 in the best possible way this past week. In this video, I want to go over the specs, detail what's under the hood, go over some of the extra little details, and of course, share some more crispy Cyberpunk gameplay with you with all the RTX and DLSS bells and whistles turned on. So if you guys do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and comment down below, let me know how you guys are getting on in Nice City, no spoilers of course, but what have you guys been getting up to? Now let's turn our attention to the machine. This whole thing is housed in this very sleek, medium sized Fanatex Eclipse P3600A case in white, it has a nice gloss viewing window on the side, plenty of ventilation, and it's just in general a nice modest design. It has some easy access ports and connections up top, as well as a ton of connection options on the back with more USB ports than I know what to do with. However, if we slide off the side, the first thing that jumps out to you is the Aorus Extreme NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. This has incredibly good performance, of course, after the 3090. It's an absolute unit of a card with heavy duty cooling. And this, this bit is awesome, super awesome, in fact. It even has a small customizable display, which you can either use for performance metrics, which let's be honest, most of you probably will, or you can add your favorite GIF, which in this case, happens to be the Cyberpunk logo. Gotta say, I love that little added touch. Outside of that, this machine has the Intel Core i9-10850K CPU and Aorus Z490 Ultra motherboard. It also has a two terabyte Aorus NVMe storage device and 16 gigabytes of Aorus RGB RAM. Now in terms of performance, this thing has been solid all week. I opted to run the game in 1440p with all my settings turned up to either high or ultra and all the RTX and DLSS options turned on. I tested both DLSS in quality and performance mode and to no surprise, performance gives me, well, better performance. <laughs> with the quality mode, I was averaging around 50 to 60 frames per second with some drops below that when things got hectic. Meanwhile, on the performance setting, my average is more in the 70 FPS region. Again, there are some drops that typically occur in the super neon areas of the city, most notably when it's nighttime, it's raining, and there's a lot of stuff going on, basically when the graphic stuff is just being tested to the absolute limit. But honestly, outside of that, my performance has been pretty solid. Of course, with all of this, it also allows me to again take advantage of those RTX options for all that added detail. Here's a few examples, but you can see with the RTX turned on, I get nice reflections and shiny surfaces more depth to objects around the world and even better lighting which is most pronounced when in the sort of neon districts of the city and you can see the lighting sort of uh, dispersed among surrounding objects but overall I've been having a blast playing through the game I still have lots of exploring to do lots of things to kind of tick off my list my side quest log is still just never ending so uh, you know I've got I've, I've got things to keep me busy let's put it that way but it's been nice being able to play the game with all these settings cranked up so uh, once again Thanks to Aorus for very kindly loaning me the machine. It'll be sad to see it go, but uh, it's served me well. I'll leave you guys with a little bit more open world gameplay to round out the video, just so you can enjoy the views in Night City. And of course, for more Cyberpunk content, make sure you keep it locked on the channel. Thanks for watching, watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arix Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys wanna chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.